We meet in the presence of God to remember with gratitude the life of Joseph A. Hardy, who has died. We meet to commit Joe and ourselves to God. A trailblazer in business, a philanthropist and a veteran. On Saturday, the same day he turned 100 years old, Joe Hardy passed away. Today, family and friends said their final goodbyes to a man whose zest for life spanned a century. Surrounded by members of his beloved family, remembered, revered, and eulogized by his closest friends. What I do know for sure is that no one, and I mean no one, got more out of life than Joe Hardy. Any sadness surrounding Joe Hardy's passing was superseded today with a celebration of his life. He always had the philosophy that nothing was impossible. That's how he lived his life. And through that, I always thought because nothing was impossible that he would outlive everyone in this room. And he was working on that, certainly. The well-respected, well-known businessman behind 84 Lumber and Nemecol and Woodlands died Saturday, the same day he turned 100. His funeral today at Westminster Presbyterian Church in Upper St. Clair was, according to the pastor, meticulously planned by Hardy himself. So if you feel his fingerprints all over the service, including the time in which we're gathered, the music selected, the color of the corsages that are worn, the consummate planner likely intended for you to feel his presence. A World War II Army Air Corps veteran, Hardy's send-off was sealed by full military honors, as well as a simple request from those who knew him best. So out of respect for Joe, I think make it a point today to hug somebody you love, and if you're so inclined, pick out one of these bad boys, pour a glass of your favorite beverage, and raise a toast to Joe Hardy, a man who was no ordinary Joe. He was an extraordinary Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Quite a guy, quite a life. According to his obituary, in true hearty fashion, the centenarian passed away at his home in Farmington, surrounded by family with a cigar in hand. He is survived by his eight children, 15 grandchildren and three stepsons.